Hey guys, it's Acting Savvy, and in this video, I'm going to go over the flexible actor side gig of Christmas Caroling, the pros and cons. And to start off, what does Christmas Caroling entail? Well, you get a binder filled with Christmas tunes, and depending on whatever part you have, you learn it. Unless you have the melody, and it's usually how you hear Christmas songs on the radio, usually. For certain sopranos, um, I know some sopranos that don't even read music, so it really varies on the group you're in and also how much you guys perform. And a lot of times, if you're interested in getting into a caroling group, you'll see them on, like, you'll see postings on backstage, you'll see them on Facebook, Craigslist, Indeed just for different Christmas caroling gigs and even casting networks. And you will get assigned gigs based on your availability and the group's availability. And sometimes they have the dates set in advance. So even before you're accepted into these groups, they're gonna be asking you if you're available on those dates. And that could decide whether or not you're in one of these groups. And some of the pros about doing Christmas caroling is that you're able to meet a lot of new people, perform improv on the spot. So you're going to be sometimes singing Jingle Bells a bunch of times in a row. But it really depends on what the kids want to because a lot of times parents will be with their kids and kids love to hear certain tunes like Jingle Bells, Frosty the Snowman, or other like kid-friendly Christmas tunes and I'm not wearing my full uniform but like it has a shawl, Christmassy top and then there's a skirt, bonnet and some bells in here. I am going to be going to a caroling gig quite soon before my rehearsal. Luckily they're right in the same area. It's like half a mile away from rehearsal is where I'm doing a gig which works out really well. But even though these are really great gigs, they're fun, the one con I have to say is that it's seasonal. Unfortunately, we can't do Christmas caroling all year round because the demand is simply not there. Unless they have groups that are able to sing at all different times of the year. But for Christmas caroling, it's usually end of November until December 25th, so it's very seasonal. Another con is that you might have to drive to the city, you don't know how parking's gonna be, and you might only be booked for about a half an hour. So that's another possible con. But otherwise, Christmas Caroling is a good way to exercise your improv muscles. It's a way for you to get out, meet new people, learn a bunch of new Christmas songs, or if you already know them, perform them for people. But other than that, I feel like Christmas Caroling's a great um, actor side hustle during the holiday season. 